What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel and if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. We are continuing our 15 for 15 series with the Amit AR2 Solar Auto Rifle number three in our series here. So we're gonna go over its PVP, PVE God rules for you guys starting with the PVP side of things. First off, for the intrinsic trait, we're going to go with that plus 10 to the range, stacking this thing all the way up to 81 with 60 stability. So this thing maps at a distance, especially with the perks that we're going to have on this bad boy. Now for our barrel, I'm going to go with corkscrew rifling because it gives us an increase to all range stability and handling. So once again, a jack of all trades in the barrel slot, kind of like tactical mag in the PVE realm for our magazines. Now in our second slot for magazine for PVP, I'm going to go with ricochet round so we can get that nice bounce off of surfaces if we're shooting around walls, stuff like that. Plus it gives us that nice increase to range and stability. So just stacking it again, like I said, all the way up to 81 with the range. Now right here, our two enhanced perks are very important for the PVP realm. We're gonna go with dynamic sway reduction. So rapidly improves accuracy and stability while continuously holding down the trigger. So this is super nice because of the 32 magazine. By the end of that 15, the last 15 or 16, this thing is a laser beam and very hard to miss. Doesn't have much bounce on this bad boy at all and we're pairing that in the fourth column over here with gunshot straight which is a very interesting perk but works very well in the pvp realm in my opinion aiming down sight increases body shot damage so with that dynamic suede the longer you stay on it the more body damage you do so it can go very quickly if you're doing a couple headshots a couple bodies pretty quick defeats but decreases the target acquisition slightly which doesn't really seem to affect it that much in my personal opinion while using the weapon so this combination is pretty deadly in the pvp realm in my personal opinion now moving on to the pve side of things with this weapon pairing it with the solar subclass especially with incandescent on this bad boy first off we're going with the enhanced intrinsic reload for that plus 10 giving us that pretty smooth 48 for a decent reload especially since this hits a little bit harder as a 450 rpm now for our barrel, we're going with polygonal rifling again, just because it doesn't give us any decreases to range or handling really, but gives us that nice stability increase all the way up to 55. Next off, we're going to go with a pended mag to increase our magazine size without just tanking our reload speed like extended mag does. So it's super nice having that 36 shots inside of this weapon. Now moving on right here to triple tap in our third column, landing those precision hits, we'll re return one to the magazine. This is super nice because it does work when you're continuously hitting those enemies and champions or a bunch of ads. You're creating that incandescent burst of scorch as well as almost like a subsistence, not nearly as well with defeats, but hitting those precision shots, definitely good for doing damage on bosses and champions stuff like that you can continuously burn into enemies with triple tap now with the pve god roll right here i'm gonna go with incandescent just because it seems to me like personally the best thing to have on solar weapons just like my callus mini tool that incandescent is absolutely nasty this can be used like i did in master golgoroth actually with incandescent very nice for keeping all of the ads at bay while keeping your distance from things that hit hard like those champions and knights and those bombers 
so hopefully y'all like these builds that are going on just to finish out the season here so you can hopefully get a couple of these and then work your way up level them up early next season so we don't really have to worry about them because we do got those deep stone crypt ones coming back so we'll have plenty of videos on those as well but thank you guys for watching we got number four coming up with the drang definitely another mad lad in the pvp realm maybe even pairing it with the defiance of yasmin which we went over before so be looking out for that one next